let's use to preprocess a dataset for summarization. This is a task of, well, summarizing a long document. This video will focus on how to preprocess your dataset once you've managed to put it in the following format. One column for the long documents and one for the summaries. There is how we can achieve this with the datasets library on the XSum dataset. As long as you manage to have your data look like this, you should be able to follow the same steps. For once, our labels are not integers corresponding to some classes, but plain text. We will thus need to tokenize them, like our inputs. There is a small trap there, though, as we need to tokenize our targets inside the asTargetTokenizer context manager. This is because the special tokens we add might be slightly different for the inputs on the target, so the tokenizer has to know which one it is processing. Processing the whole dataset is then super easy with the map function. Since the summaries are usually much shorter than the documents, you should definitely pick different maximum lengths for the inputs and targets. You can choose to pad at this stage to that maximum length by setting padding equal max length. Here we'll show you how to pad dynamically as it requires one more step. Your inputs and targets are all sentences of various lengths. We'll pad the inputs and targets separately as the maximum lengths of the inputs and targets are completely different. Then we pad the inputs to the maximum lengths among the inputs, and same for the target. We pad the inputs with the pad token and the targets with the minus 100 index to make sure they are not taken into account in the loss computation. The transformers library provides us with a data collector to do this all automatically. You can then pass it to the trainer with the datasets or use it in the 2TF dataset method before using model.fit on your Keras model. 